Hi, I am Joe. This lesson will cover an introduction to number systems and how to convert between decimal, binary, and hexadecimal number systems. What is a number system? Let's take a close look at the number 25, let's say, for example. 25 is actually 2 times 10 plus 5 times 1. So in the ones digit, we have a 5. And in the tens digit, we have a 2. The ones digit is actually 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 power is 1. And the tens digit is 10 to the first power. 10 to the first power is 10. Now some of the other powers of 10, the third digit from the right would be the hundreds digit. The fourth digit from the right would be the thousands digit, 10 to the third power, etc. So it's basically how a number system works. This is the decimal number system, which is also called base 10. So 25 can be expressed as 2 times 10 plus 5 times 1, or 2 times 10 to the first power plus 5 times 10 to the 0 power. Now what if a number system only used two different values, 0 or 1. This would be a base 2 number system. Base 2 is also called binary. You would have to count like this, starting with 0, 1. There are only two digits, keep in mind. So as soon as you get to 1, you have to roll back the first digit to 0. You need to count the second digit to 1. 1, 1, what would come next? 100, 1, zero, zero. And then 1, zero, 1, followed by 1, 1, zero, and 1, 1, 1. So we've just counted from 0 to 7 using binary digits. Let me fill in the leading zeros for some of the first numbers. Now another way to look at this as you count from 0 to 7, the first rightmost digit, least significant bit this is called, changes from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1 to 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. The middle digit changes from 0 to 0 to 1 to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And the leftmost digit as zero 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 one 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 one. Now the rightmost digit is the ones digit, which is represents two to the power zero. The middle digit is the twos digit, which is two to the power one. And two squared or two to the power two is the fours digit. Now since there's only two values these digits can each have, 0 or 1, there can be 1, 4, 1, 2, and 1, 1. So 0 or 1. Now in this case, we have a number 1, 0, 1. Let's try and convert this binary number 1, 0, 1 to decimal. So 1, 0, 1 is equal to 1 times 2 to the second power plus 0 times 2 to the first power plus 1 times 2 to the 0 power. And to simplify this, 1, 4 plus 1, 1, which makes 5. So that's pretty simple. 1, 0, 1 binary is equal to 5 in decimal. Now let's convert a bigger number. Let's look at an eight-digit binary number and convert that to decimal. We're going to start with a little table that has all of the powers of two from two to the zero all the way through two to the seven. We'll calculate those powers. It's pretty simple because it just doubles. You start as one on the rightmost digit and it doubles each time you move one digit to the left. So one, two, four, eight, 16 and so on. 
Below that, we're going to put our number. Now, basically, what our number means is 1 times 128 plus 0 times 64 plus 1 times 32 plus 0 times 16, and so on. But maybe an easier way to look at this, we can look at each bit. The weight of the bit is 128 for the first bit to the left. And we can look at whether or not that bit is checked or whether or not it has a 1 under it. Okay, So the 128 bit is checked, so we're going to add a 128 to our total. 64 bit is not checked, so we do nothing. The 32 bit is checked, so we add 32 to our total. The 16 and the 8 bits are not checked, so we skip those. The 4 bit is checked, so we add 4 to our total. The 2's bit is checked, we add 2 to our total, and the 1 bit is not checked. So of these 8 digits, 4 of them are checked, the 128, the 32, the 4, and the 2. We simply add those four numbers to get 166. That's our decimal equivalent. Now let's try another conversion. Let's convert a decimal number to binary, going the other direction this time. So we're going to convert 75, decimal number 75, to binary. So we're going to start with the same table. However, we're going to approach this problem differently because we're converting in the other direction. So first we have to compare 75 to 128. Well, 75 is less than 128, so we're not going to check the 128 digit. We're going to put a 0 there, and then we'll compare 75 to 64. 75 is greater than 64, so we can put a 1 there, and then we're going to subtract 64 from 75. Now we have 11 decimal, 11 decimal units left to distribute across the, the binary conversion from 32 down. So we'll compare 11 to 32. 11 is less than 32, so we're going to put a 0 there and move on. 11 is less than 16, so we'll put a 0 under the 16, and we'll move on. 11 is greater than 8, so we're going to put a 1 under the 8. Subtract 8 from 11 to get 3, and we'll move to the 4 bit. 3 is less than 4, so we'll place a 0 there. 3 is greater than 2, so we'll put a 1 under the 2's digit. We're going to subtract 2 from 3, we get 1, and we'll place the 1 in the 1's digit. After that, we have 0 left, so we're done with our conversion. We've converted 75 decimal to 0, 0100 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 binary. Now let's look at a base 16 number system, also called hexadecimal. Now the base 16 number system has 16 different characters to represent the numbers 0 through 15. So there are a total of 16 possible values that each digit can have. And as you move one digit to the left, it increases by a factor of 16 each time. So in this case, though, there's a 1's digit, a 16's digit, which represents 16 to the power 1, and a 256's digit, which represents 16 to the power 2, and so on. Now, the hexadecimal number system uses the same digits as the decimal number system for 0 through 9. 8 and 8 are the same, 9 and 9 are the same, but for 10, hexadecimal uses an A to represent 10. It uses a B to represent 11, and so on through F for 15. So this table is a summary that shows the decimal numbers from 0 to 15, hexadecimal numbers from 0 through F, which is equivalent to 0 through 15 in, in decimal, and binary numbers 
from 0, 0, 0, 0 through 1, 1, 1, 1, which is equivalent to uh, 0 through 15. Now you'll notice that the hexadecimal number is exactly equal to four binary digits because all four binary digits are set when we reach 15. So this makes it very easy and convenient to change between hexadecimal and binary digits. Now let's, tr let's try converting a hex number to binary. Let's convert hexadecimal A7 to binary. And by the way, no the notation I've used here, 0xA7, is commonly used to indicate a hexadecimal number by putting a 0x before the number. So first what we're going to do is look up the A on our table. Well, the A is equivalent to 1010 in binary. Now we're going to look up the 7 on the same table. The 7 is equivalent to 0, 1, 1, 1 in binary. Now if we didn't want to look those up in the table, we could, uh, I'll show you a shortcut in a second, but 0xA7 is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 binary. So this was a pretty simple conversion using the table. It only took a matter of seconds. Now, you could see that in the 1010, um, the 8's digit is set and the 2's digit is set. So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 in decimal. And 10 is equal to A because it's the first digit above 9. And the 7 has the 4's digit the twos digit and the ones digits all set. So zero one 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 is equal to seven decimal. So let's try converting a hexadecimal number to a decimal number. We're going to convert hexadecimal A7 to decimal. Now of course, we've already established that A is equal to 10. So hexadecimal A7 is equal to 10 times 16, because A is in the 16's place, plus 7 times 1, because the 7 is in the 1's digit. So we add these together, and here we go, 167 decimal. So hexadecimal A7 is equal to 167 in decimal. So that one was pretty simple. Let's try a bigger number, 697 in decimal, and we're going to convert that to hex. So this time we're going a different direction, and we have a different approach here. So 697 we have to start by dividing it by 16, and we get 43, remainder 9. Now we're going to divide 43 by 16, and we get 2, remainder 11. Now we're going to divide 2 by 16, and we get 0, remainder 2. So 11 is equivalent to B, as we know from our table before. Um, so our hexadecimal equivalent of 697 in decimal is 2B9. Now it's important that you copy the digits down in the right order. The least significant bit is this 9 uh, which was the first remainder that we got when we did our division. The second bit was the B, was the remainder we got from the second di division. And the 2 was the last remainder, which is the most significant or leftmost bit. Okay, so 697 decimal 
works out to hexadecimal 2B9. Now a final note on number system notation. Uh, commonly, numbers are denoted by using a small subscript to indicate the base that the number is in. So in base 10 or decimal, uh, I've shown an example here, 54 base 10, a small subscripted 10 to denote that the 54 is in base 10. Um, now normally when you see numbers written with, with no subscript, the natural assumption is that it's a decimal number. That's the default in most cases. Um, unless you see a strings of, string of ones and zeros, in which case you can almost always conclude that it's binary, depending on what context you're working in. But uh, um, 1011 with a subscripted 2 indicates that it's binary. Uh, and then uh, any hexadecimal number with a subscripted 16 is hexadecimal. Um, or sometimes hexadecimal numbers often use the notation that we use throughout this presentation, 0x preceding the number. Now we didn't use the subscripts in this presentation because the subscripts tend to be a little hard to read in YouTube videos. So that's... Um, we thank you very much for joining us. We hope you learned something from this lesson.